chapter 28. Now let Aaron your brother, and his sons with him, come near from among the children of Israel, so that they may be my priests, even Aaron, and Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Etamar, his sons. And make holy robes for Aaron your brother, so that he may be clothed with glory and honor. Give orders to all the wise-hearted workmen, whom I have made full of the spirit of wisdom, to make robes for Aaron, so that he may be made holy as my priest. This is what they are to make, a priest's bag, an ephod, and a robe, and a coat of colored needlework, a headdress, and a linen band. They are to make holy robes for Aaron your brother and for his sons, so that they may do the work of priests for me. They are to take the gold and blue and purple and red and the best linen, and make the effort of gold and blue and purple and red and the best linen, the work of a designer. It is to have two bands stitched to it at the top of the arms, joining it together, and the beautifully worked band, which goes on it, is to be of the same work and the same material, of gold and blue and purple and red and twisted linen work. You are to take two beryl stones, on which the names of the children of Israel are to be cut, six names on the one stone and six on the other, in the order of their birth. With the work of a jeweler, like the cutting of a stamp, the names of the children of Israel are to be cut on them, and they are to be fixed in twisted frames of gold, and the two stones are to be placed on the effort, over the arm holes, to be stones of memory for the children of Israel. Aaron will have their names on his arms when he goes in before the Lord, to keep the Lord in mind of them. And you are to make twisted frames of gold, and two chains of the best gold, twisted like cords, and have the chains fixed onto the frames. And make a priest's bag for giving decisions, designed like the effort, made of gold and blue and purple and red and the best linen. It is to be square, folded in two, a hand stretch long and a hand stretch wide and on it you are to put four lines of jewels, the first line is to be a cornelian, a chrysolite, and an emerald, the second, a ruby, a sapphire, and an onyx, the third, a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst, the fourth, a topaz, a beryl, and a jasper, they are to be fixed in twisted frames of gold. The jewels are to be twelve in number, for the names of the children of Israel, every jewel having the name of one of the twelve tribes cut on it is on a stamp, and you are to make two chains of gold, twisted like cords, to be fixed to the priest's bag, and put two gold rings on the two ends of the bag. Put the two gold chains on the two rings at the ends of the bag, joining the other ends of the chains to the gold frames and putting them on the front of the ephod, at the top of the arms. Then make two gold rings and put them on the lower ends of the bag, at the edge of it on the inner side nearest to the effort. And make two more gold rings and put them on the front of the effort at the top of the arms, at the join, over the worked band, so that the rings on the bag may be fixed to the rings of the effort by a blue cord and onto the band of the effort, so that the bag may not come loose from the effort. And so Aaron will have the names of the children of Israel on the priest's bag over his heart whenever he goes into the holy place, to keep the memory of them before the Lord. And in the bag you are to put the Urim and Thummim, so that they may be on Aaron's heart whenever he goes in before the Lord, and Aaron may have the power of making decisions for the children of Israel before the Lord at all times. The rope which goes with the effort is to be made all of blue, with a hole at the top, in the middle of it, the hole is to be edged with a band to make it strong like the hole in the coat of a fighting man, so that it may not be broken open. And round the skirts of it put fruits in blue and purple and red, with bells of gold between, a gold bell and a fruit in turn all round the skirts of the robe. Aaron is to put it on for his holy work, and the sound of it will be clear, when he goes into the holy place before the Lord, and when he comes out keeping him safe from death. You are to make a plate of the best gold, cutting on it, as on a stamp, these words, holy to the Lord. Put a blue cord on it and put it on the front of the twisted headdress, and it will be over Aaron's brow, so that Aaron will be responsible for any error in all the holy offerings made by the children of Israel. It will be on his brow at all times, so that their offerings may be pleasing to the Lord. The coat is to be made of the best linen, worked in squares, and you are to make a headdress of linen, 
and a linen band worked in needlework, and for Aaron's sons you are to make coats, and bands, and headdresses, so that they may be clothed with glory and honor. These you are to put on Aaron, your brother, and on his sons, putting oil on them, separating them and making them holy, to do the work of priests to me. And you are to make them linen trousers, covering their bodies from the middle to the knee, Aaron and his sons are to put these on whenever they go into the tent of meeting or come near the altar, when they are doing the work of the holy place, so that they may be free from any sin causing death, this is to be an order for him and his seed after him forever. Chapter 29 This is what you are to do to make them holy, to do the work of priests to me. Take one young ox and two male sheep, without any mark on them, and unleavened bread, and unleavened cakes mixed with oil, and thin unleavened cakes on which oil has been put, made of the best bread meal, put these in a basket and take them, with the ox and the two sheep. And let Aaron and his sons come to the door of the tent of meeting, and there let them be washed with water. Take the robes, and put the coat and the dress and the ephod and the priests back on Aaron. Put the band of needlework round him, and let the headdress be placed on his head and the holy crown on the headdress. Then take the oil and put it on his head. And take his sons and put their robes on them, and put the linen bands round Aaron and his sons, and the headdresses on them, to make them priests by my order forever, so you are to make Aaron and his sons holy to me. Then let the ox be taken in front of the tent of meeting, and let Aaron and his sons put their hands on its head. And you are to put the ox to death before the Lord at the door of the tent of meeting. Then take some of the blood of the ox, and put it on the horns of the altar with your finger, draining out all the rest of the blood at the base of the altar. And take all the fat covering the inside of the ox, and the fat joining the liver and the two kidneys with the fat round them, and let them be burned on the altar. But the flesh of the ox and its skin and its waist parts are to be burned outside the circle of the tents, for it is a sin offering. Then take one of the sheep, and let Aaron and his sons put their hands on its head. Then let it be put to death, so that the sides of the altar are marked with its blood. Then the sheep is to be cut up into its parts, and after washing its legs and its inside parts, you are to put them with the parts and the head, and let them all be burned on the altar as a burnt offering to the Lord, a sweet smell, an offering made by fire to the Lord. Then take the other sheep. And after Aaron and his sons have put their hands on its head, you are to put the sheep to death, and take some of its blood and put it on the point of Aaron's right ear, and of the right ears of his sons, and on the thumbs of their right hands and the great toes of their right feet, dropping the rest of the blood on the sides of the altar. Then take some of the blood on the altar, and the oil, and put it on Aaron and his robes and on his sons and on their robes, so that he and his robes and his sons and their robes may be made holy. Then take the fat of the sheep, the fat tail, the fat covering the insides, and the fat joining the liver and the two kidneys with the fat round them, and the right leg, for by the offering of this sheep they are to be marked out as priests. And take one bit of bread and one cake of oiled bread and one thin cake out of the basket of unleavened bread which is before the Lord and put them all on the hands of Aaron and of his sons, to be waved for a wave offering before the Lord. Then take them from their hands, and let them be burned on the burnt offering on the altar, a sweet smell before the Lord, an offering made by fire to the Lord. Then take the breast of Aaron's sheep, waving it before the Lord, and it is to be your part of the offering. So you are to make holy the breast of the sheep which is waved and the leg which is lifted up on high, that is, of the sheep which is offered for Aaron and his sons, and it will be their part as a right forever from the children of Israel. It is a special offering from the children of Israel, made from their peace offerings, a special offering lifted up to the Lord. And Aaron's holy robes will be used by his sons after him. They will put them on when they are made priests. For seven days the son who becomes priest in his place will put them on when he comes into the tent of meeting to do the work of the holy place. Then take the sheep of the wave offering and let its flesh be cooked in water in a holy place. And let Aaron and his sons make a meal of it, with the bread in the basket, at the door of the tent of meeting. All those things which were used as offerings to take away sin, and to make them holy to be priests, they may have for food, but no one who is not a priest may have them, 
for they are holy food. And if any of the flesh of the offering or of the bread is over till the morning, let it be burnt with fire. It is not to be used for food, for it is holy. All these things you are to do to Aaron and his sons as I have given you orders. For seven days the work of making them priests is to go on. Every day an ox is to be offered as a sin offering, to take away sins, and by this offering on it, you will make the altar clean from sin, and you are to put oil on it and make it holy. For seven days you are to make offerings for the altar and make it holy, so that it may become completely holy, and anything touching it will become holy. Now this is the offering which you are to make on the altar, two lambs in their first year, every day regularly. One lamb is to be offered in the morning and the other in the evening, and with the one lamb, a tenth part of an ephah of the best meal, mixed with a fourth part of a hen of clear oil, and the fourth part of a hen of wine for a drink offering. And the other lamb is to be offered in the evening, and with it the same meal offering and drink offering, for a sweet smell, an offering made by fire to the Lord. This is to be a regular burnt offering made from generation to generation, at the door of the tent of meeting before the Lord, where I will come face to face with you and have talk with you. There I will come face to face with the children of Israel, and the tent will be made holy by my glory. I will make holy the tent of meeting and the altar, and Aaron and his sons I will make holy. To be my priest among the children of Israel I will make my living place, and I will be their God. And they will see that I am the Lord their God, who took them out of the land of Egypt, so that I might be ever with them, I am the Lord their God. Chapter 30 And you are to make an altar for the burning of perfume, of hardwood let it be made. The altar is to be square, a cubit long and a cubit wide, and two cubits high, and its horns are to be made of the same. It is to be plated with the best gold, the top of it and the sides and the horns, with an edging of gold all round it. Under the edge on the two opposite sides, you are to make two gold rings, to take the rods for lifting it, and make these rods of the same wood, plating them with gold. And let it be placed in front of the veil before the ark of the law, before the cover which is over the law, where I will come face to face with you. And on this altar sweet spices are to be burned by Aaron every morning when he sees to the lights. And every evening, while he puts the lights up in their places, the spices are to be burned. A sweet-smelling smoke going up before the Lord from generation to generation forever. No strange perfume, no burned offering or meal offering, and no drink offering is to be offered on it. And once every year Aaron is to make its horns clean, with the blood of the sin offering he is to make it clean once every year from generation to generation. It is most holy to the Lord. And the Lord said to Moses, When you are taking the number of the children of Israel, let every man who is numbered give to the Lord a price for his life, so that no disease may come on them when they are numbered. And this is what they are to give, let every man who is numbered give half a shekel, by the scale of the holy place, the shekel being valued at twenty jerahs, this money is an offering to the Lord. Everyone who is numbered, from twenty years old and over, is to give an offering to the Lord. The man of wealth is to give no more and the poor man no less than the half shekel of silver, when the offering is made to the Lord as the price for your lives. And you are to take this money from the children of Israel to be used for the work of the tent of meeting, to keep the memory of the children of Israel before the Lord and to be the price of your lives. And the Lord said to Moses, You are to make a brass washing vessel, with a brass base, and put it between the tent of meeting and the altar, with water in it, that it may be used by Aaron and his sons for washing their hands and feet. Whenever they go into the tent of meeting they are to be washed with water, to keep them from death, and whenever they come near to do the work of the altar, or to make an offering by fire to the Lord, their hands and feet are to be washed, so that they may be safe from death. This is an order to them forever, to him and his seed from generation to generation. And the Lord said to Moses, Take the best spices, five hundred shekels weight of liquid myrrh, and of sweet cinnamon half as much, that is, two hundred and fifty shekels, and two hundred and fifty shekels of sweet calamus, and of cassia, five hundred shekels weight measured by the scale of the holy place, and of olive oil a hen, and make these into a holy oil, a perfume made by the art of the perfume maker, 
it is to be a holy oil. This oil is to be put on the tent of meeting, and on the ark of the law, and on the table and all its vessels, and on the support for the lights, with its vessels, and on the altar for burning spices, and on the altar of burned offerings with its vessels, and on the washing vessel and its base. And you are to make them most holy, anything touching them will become holy and put the oil on Aaron and his sons, making them holy to do the work of priests to me, and say to the children of Israel, This is to be the Lord's holy oil, from generation to generation. It is not to be used for man's flesh, and no other is to be made like it. Holy it is, and you are to keep it holy. Whoever makes any like it, or puts it on one who is not a priest, will be cut off from his people. And the Lord said to Moses, Take sweet spices, stacti and onicha and galbanum, with the best frankincense, in equal weights, and make from them a perfume, such as is made by the art of the perfume maker, mixed with salt, and clean and holy, and put some of it, crushed very small, in front of the ark in the tent of meeting, where I will come face to face with you, it is to be most holy. You are not to make any perfume like it for yourselves, it is to be kept holy to the Lord. Whoever makes any like it, for its sweet smell, will be cut off from his people.